Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Vlogmas day 13. I'm in the parking lot at McDonald's doing a curbside order of frappes and frozen Cokes. <laughs> um, it's been a lazy morning. I got up early and, you know, did some stuff and then I was watching the news and then I fell back to sleep. Nowhere to go, nothing to do outside the house, just more uh, work at the computer. And yeah, it's a super nice day. It's really nice and warm, not warm, well, warm for Iowa in December. Okay, it's warm for Iowa in December, because I have my window down. But anyway, um, yeah, there's Arby's across the way. How you doing? And yeah, I will get home and we will get into the advent calendars. And I have two boxy charm boxes to open so we'll do that in today's vlog too say hello to the camera hello are you excited to eat your perkins leftovers tonight oh yeah your omelet and yeah. bacon yeah and hash browns yeah and pancakes and what pancakes, oh, pancakes. yeah yeah i might eat half of them eat half of the, what you ate last night <laughs> you ate about a fifth of it last night <laughs> h-a-d oh h-a-d hi hi and charlie what's charlie doing charlie's like i'm trying to sleep if y'all would shut up what time is it teddy is it advent calendar time yes finally getting to it it's after dinner okay let's start with the aldi cheese calendar and we are on day 13. looks like oh no i was gonna say is this whole top side gonna be gone no, and I also can't get it open because Advent. Okay, we have a, oh, another one of these. Some of you put the pronunciation in and I've already forgot. Let's just, I, whatever, you can read. Yes, I know. So there's the cheese one. And yes, it does go back in the fridge. Um, we'll do the doggy ones because someone's anxious. You want that? Yeah. So this is the 12 days of festive dog treats from Target from Molly's Bakery. This is definitely Teddy's favorite. I gotta find 13, Teddy. Oh boy, Charlie doesn't like these, so Teddy gets the whole thing. Then we have the Sam's Club dog treats. And 13s are popping up easy to find today. Oh boy, got three of those. Now Charlie does like those, so. Make sure to save those until he comes in here. And then this is the Aldi dog treats. And let's see what I've got. I can feel some shifting. Yes, I'm cheating, opening it from the back. What is going on here? Okay, well that's lovely. Merry Christmas, rip your calendar. Oh, for crying out loud. That was a lot of work. These two, hey Charlie. Now, Teddy, you had yours. This one's Charlie's. Here, Charlie. Yeah. Okay, so they got those. And that's for the dogs. Now, this is the new one I picked up at all the, was it last week or a couple weeks ago? Um, the 12 Days of Christmas. And this is Truffles. So we're starting today. We've got a partridge in a pear tree. Ooh. And this one is... A chocolate mousse. Very nice. You want another treat? Is it because you're starving? It's terrible that you guys are starving so much. You need so many treats. Yeah. <laughs> you like those? You want another one, Charlie? Teddy got two, so I'll overfeed you as well. You want another one, Charlie? Now, Teddy, you had yours. That's Charlie's. <laughs> They're good. Okay, in the office now, and let's open the rest. This is the Aldi chocolate calendar, another one. So I, yeah, I have three this year. Um, this was the cheaper of the two big ones. And let's see, 13, there we go. Oh, come on. Oh. I wish they'd put a card in here so I didn't have to flip it every day. That is a mascarpone truffle. Mmm, sounds good, mascarpone cheese. Then this was the more expensive of the 24-day chocolates. And 
Let's see here. 13, 13. Where are you? This is like every day we just search. Um, hello? Where's 13? 14, 20, 18, 6, 21, 10, 1, 15, 4. Is this a, oh, where is it? Right in front of your face, brother. I didn't think that was a door. I couldn't see the perforation. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. A little bit of work to get the candy. And that is the caramel mignon. It's funny, like it says milk chocolate. Well, I guess that's milk. Because it looks darker. Like that looks like a dark chocolate to me. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. Next up, we'll do the body shop, which is everyone's favorite. And, oh, day 12, that was yesterday. Now we're on the bottom layer. And, got these little boxes. Oh, hang on, dog is peeing in the house. And I'm back. Charlie peed on the wall, and Teddy promptly followed him and did the same. So I had to scrub the wall and get out the carpet cleaner. So that was fun. <laughs> Yes, they just got a little too excited about being given treats and we're just couldn't contain themselves. Oh, I tell you what, small male dogs, I think it's just part of how they are. They just love to go to the bathroom in the house. Lucy never did. I don't hear about big dogs doing it. It just seems the baby, the little ones. Okay, today, ooh, we've got a coconut bath bubble. Very nice. I don't do baths, but I can put these like in the bottom of the shower and it kind of acts like a shower steamer. So that's a good one. And then two more. This is the mini brands, the um, traditional one, the food mini brands. And here is 13. And we, oh, this is another new one I don't have. Otter Pops. Oh my gosh, how cute. Usually the box ones, I'm like, ugh, that's not very exciting, but that is really adorable. Soup, I've never had an otter pop. I think it's just like the juice and the tubey thing. I don't know. Anyway, and then the last calendar is the toy mini brands. And today we're getting, ooh, the cotton candy. Is this is this a sucker or a toy? I'm assuming it's some kind of toy. The sticker looks a little off on it. it. Smells sweet. Does it, or am I just imagining that? I don't know, but that is super cute. So that is day 13 of the advent calendars. Okay, now we're gonna open two boxy charm boxes um, that I pretty much forgot about. I brought them into the house and then left them by the door inside and I was like, I'll take those into my room later. Later is now, <laughs> I was like, maybe I should uh, move those and open them. And yes, I did move the walker from over here. It is now over there and it has been joined by Swiffer Mop um, for full aesthetics. But if I'm over here, oh, you can still see the Swiffer Mop. See, I have to put things in the office or else my father gets in them. So I just find that this is now the hoarding room. I feel like I come in here and it looks like it's it's never picked up. It, it just always looks a mess. You go in the rest of the house, it's looking a lot better because I just move things in here. So anyway, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription box. There are three boxes. There are two that are monthly, one that's quarterly. I'll link them below because I can't remember what's what and to tell you everything. Um, this is the BoxyCharm Premium which I believe is the higher priced of the monthly boxes. There's a base box, the premium box, and then the luxe box I think is quarterly. You probably shouldn't do this with scissors, but you know what? It's kind of satisfying. It was satisfying until I cut myself, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna stop. Here's my card. Boxy Charm, Gift of Glam. Tells me everything that's in here. Once again, we have a large box with not enough product to fill it. And I get it. They can't have all different size boxes. 
I understand, but sometimes like you get the big box, you're like, wow, and then you open it, you're like, oh. Okay, let's stop yammering around. We have a Kenya on your boom. It's a glow and go kit. The glow and go kit. And this says that it is a $48 item. Shine all year round with the glow and go kit. I want to say grow. I don't think you want your you don't want to grow stuff on your face. Uh, designed in a sleek, travel-friendly palette filled with Kenya's favorite shades. Is Kenya, I don't know if she a celebrity, an influencer, or just this brand of makeup. I Y'all, I've reached the age when I don't know what pop culture is going on. I now at the age where I'm like, back in my day, we listened to this kind of music, not this kind of stuff now. So like celebrities, um, artists, musicians, movies, TV, it's like, whoop. So I do not know who Kenya is, um, but this is her favorite. These have these are her favorite shades, and it's an all-in-one kit. That's all you need for that everyday glow or touch-ups on the go. Let's see if we can open this baby without ripping. Oh, well, it's got a nice like a textured feel to it, and ooh, those are pretty. Nice neutral earthy shades, and it comes with a mirror on the side. Does it tell you what the shades are? It does on the back. I can barely read it because again, now I am old and blind, but that's a nice item. I shall use that item. I don't need to put it back in there, that's silly. Okay, next up we have a box and it is Elemis Superfood Matcha I Do. Because now we're gonna put matcha in everything. Gonna eat it, gonna smear it on our face. I tell you, one ingredient comes out and suddenly it's in everything. This is definitely a trial size. Um, it just gives the full size MSRP, which is 39. I don't think this is 39. Although it's eye gel, which you know eye gel is more, but this is matcha, kiwi, honeydew melon, and a prebiotic, and it immediately quenches and hydrates the eye area throughout the day, helping to revive and refresh to give a healthy glow with or without makeup. So try that. Recycle. Ooh, I got two lip pencils. And this is the Evio Beauty Lip Spo Liner Duo. Creamy, long-lasting, rich color to line or fill in lips. This two-piece kit features a velvety formula that glides effortlessly along your lips or a perfectly healthy defined pout in a matte finish. Why would it be a two-piece kit. It's just two different ones. They make it sound like you got to use them together, but I don't think you do. Sorry, it's dark. It's, it's, it's a night out. Anyway, I like lip liners. I really, first of all, I'd like to get my eyebrows microbladed, and then I would really like to get lip injections. I have no lips. I have no lips. They're so thin. Like, I can't really wear lipstick and stuff because it just looks silly. Like, I've drawn a line because I have no lips. So, I'm like, I could get lip injections. I don't know. Let me know if you've gotten lip injections. Not the not the like um, implants, but just the injections to puff them up. Because a lot of times I feel myself doing this, like trying to make my lips look bigger. This is ep uh, Eponine. I don't know, but it's a flawless serum in a lovely package. It's very retro looking. Skincare Beverly Hills Flawless Serum. Says this is $195. Come on now. It says it's a powerful serum. And if I'm a lithium, it's because of my Invisalign. Um, <laughs> a powerful serum that reduces the appearance of lines and wrinkles, tightens and firms while providing the skin's surface with a protective barrier, helps retain water in the corneous layer of the skin, making the skin appear plump and radiant $195. It should apply itself for that price. Then we have another, oh, we've got, oh, a couple beauty sponges. Um, it says this is a $34 item, which I find hard to believe. One is black, one is gray. They look like mini beauty blenders. Beauty blender apparently didn't like trademark their shape, or maybe they did. I guess that is a little bit different, but 
Beauty Blenders, and then finally we have a Stila um, Extreme Lash Mascara. Again, I always talk about mascaras and how I never can keep them from these boxes because they are never waterproof. And it doesn't look like this one is as well. It is a $23 value, so I will pass that along or sell it at the consignment store where they love to take cosmetics and sell them for me. And then I pretty much end up getting my boxes for free that way. Okay, then we have this boxy charm. This one's heavy. I wonder if this, oh, I cut myself with the scissors and I wasn't even flinging them around. I got a paper cut earlier today. Now I'm cutting myself with scissors. Okay, this is the Lux. So this is the quarterly box, the bigger expensive one. Here's the card. Here's everything that in it, that in it. Here's everything that in it in the winter Lux box. Blah, blah. And again, I have canceled BoxyCharm. Um, not that I don't like it, but I've just got so much stuff. And, um, but I had prepaid, so there's boxes are still rolling in. But I still, I still think BoxyCharm is probably one of the best um, subscriptions out there. Okay, we have this Ofra Cosmetics on the Glow Pro Palette. It says this is $149. Oh my. Okay. Well, that's pretty nice. We've got highlighter, bronzer, triangle, highlighter, and highlighter for $149. And $49. Glow like you mean it. The ultimate tool for creating a bronzed glow. This stunning palette is suitable for all skin tones, which I would agree. I would agree with that. Oh, comes up. There we go. Take that off. We get a better look. I love how they've done the different shades. They're kind of textured. This one looks like it's waves in the ocean or a sailboat. Maybe it's a sailboat. I don't know, but that's really nice. That's a nice thing. Is it worth $149? I do not know. Oh, we've got the Satin Sheet Slit. This and the line. Let me tell you what. The Satin Feet Set. Satin Sheet Set from Key Kitsch. Says this is a $36 value. I used to have to have satin sheets I, I, when I was growing up. I just like the silkiness of them. Now I'm at an age where I feel like I'm gonna slide out of bed. So I don't like them anymore, but I used to have to have all of the satin. And this is a set of, um, what do we got here? A pillowcase, an eye mask, and a sleep scrunchie for $36. That's a nice gift item. I don't think I'll use it. So it'll go to the consignment store or in a gift. I probably won't go in a gift because once again, I just send everybody gift cards for Christmas and I send them early because we're not going anywhere. Thank you, coronavirus. Um, this is Cat Berkey. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Vitamin C Intensive Face Cream, $116. I need to go into the cosmetic business, apparently. Intensive C. No, Vitamin C Intensive Face Cream. I'm tired. Can you tell? I do like vitamin C products. I love them from the body shop where they're not $116. Ooh, it does have a good smell. I'll definitely use that because I love me the vitamin C. It says it's a cult favorite. We'll see about that. Okay, next we have Aceology Detoxifying Treatment Mask. And you cleanse and tone, and then you put it on, and then you wait, and then you, oh, 30 minutes. Gently peel it off. I'm generally not a fan of the peeling off the mask stuff. I like to wash it off. Um, it said it detoxifies, purifies, and regenerates, and that it is a 69 bucks or 89 $69. Again, consignment store. Okay, we have this is hmm, one size by Patrick Starr. Oh, $24 value for a, what does this thing do? 
Makeup Dissolving Mist. Oh, it's an epic way with this no drip, super slick, continuous mist that dissolves makeup on contact without leaving skin tight or dry. Formulated to fully remove makeup and refresh skin with good for you ingredients. I always think that wearing so much makeup that you need to like put more stuff on your face to get it off. Um, but I know some people really pile it on. So that is kind of interesting. And now we can hear Teddy barking again. We have an eyeliner, black eyeliner from Persona, 24 hour waterproof. I'm not going to open it because I'm not going to use it, but it's a $14 value. Oh gosh, Teddy, he can hear me talking. It's like, how dare you be in there without me, mom? And then we have a pure cosmetics, fully charged mascara. Again, um, it is not waterproof, so I cannot use it, but it, la it wraps a positively charged elastic veil around each lash and it says it's $22. And then finally, the last thing is this, which is the Laris Beauty Christine set. So I'm assuming it's brushes. Oh, it is, that's a nice little container. It says that this is a $50 item. The Christine set includes a duo fiber cheek brush, a small angled cheek brush, a small concealer brush, a small flat shader brush, a medium domed blending brush, and a graphite petite Rennie cup. That's really cute, I like that. Okay, so out of the Lux box, like I'm not gonna use the mascara, I'm not gonna use the eyeliner, I'm not gonna use the sheets, I'm not gonna use the setting spray, and I'm not gonna use the mask. So that's a lot of products that I'm not gonna use. Um, but I know a lot of people would love all of those things. It's just the way, you know, I am, and that's kind of the looks. But I will use the palette and the face cream and the brushes. So three items, but they're one, two, three, four, five. Was that everything that I won't use? So I'll just, I'll sell them and I'll get my money back. It's kind of how that works. So anyway, I'll link BoxyCharm below if you want to go over on their site. Again, they have three different options. I do like them. I tend to honestly like the base box, the cheaper of all of them the best. I always feel like that comes with the most of what I'm going to use. You get the most customization, I think, with that one. Um, but, you know, if you love cosmetics and beauty products, then it is, I think, a good subscription box. You can also do add-ons and there are customization options. All the things that we know about with subscription boxes. So go and check them out. And that is going to wrap up today's vlog. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions or comments below. Again, even if it's just a hello or a smiley face, it really does help the algorithm here on YouTube. My hand is now bleeding from cutting myself with the scissors. And so that is time for me to go. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll be back tomorrow for day 14 of Vlogmas. Bye. Cut myself again.